What's happening, YouTube? Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, and I have a couple videos in the works now. The first one here, let's talk about the DV Mega again once once more. Um, I have something new now, and I'm kind of shooting the videos backwards. I have the DV Mega here. This is the dual band. You remember I bought this probably about a year ago from Gigaparts.com, and at the time that I bought it, I purchased it with the Raspberry Pi kit, that allows you, it came with the SD card and the image to use it on D-Star. And then I showed other video on how to load a different image on and use the DV Mega for DMR. Then I went to go ahead and do that with Fusion and I couldn't because the firmware on my DV Mega from when I bought it was the lower model and they had come out with newer versions of, of images and I couldn't run Fusion on my DV Mega. So, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to upload or update this firmware on the DV Mega, but as a teaser, we're using the BlueStack Micro Plus. Now, there's going to be a video, a video I'm making shortly on this, and basically now the BlueStack Micro Plus takes this big old Raspberry Pi and everything and puts all the best of all three worlds in this, okay? Now, you can take your DV Mega on top of the BlueStack in this nice little plexi case that snaps together and you have yourself a hotspot that is, I guess, going to be better than a Raspberry Pi and DV Mega. Um, you know, this, this BlueStack, that's a whole nother, another video, but what I need to, in order to use this BlueStack with my older DV Mega board on Fusion, is to solder this wire like I just did on this DV Mega and it's a simple process but the anything from my understanding what Gigaparts has told me is the boards that they had when I bought this were the older firmware and now they have the newer ones well you have to upgrade them and there's several different ways of upgrading the firmware as far as this model you have to this is the dual band you have to solder that wire let me zoom in here not too shaky and I'll show you if I can get my little pointer here I'll show you where you need to solder this wire it's very simple guys looking at the board here with the antenna connector on the top right you're gonna take a wire from the <clears throat> left side of this surface mount capacitor right here and you're gonna run it down to the pin right here so if you're looking at it like this you want to be one two three fourth pin from the left or one two second pin from the right but you can see that there that's the second pin on the bottom row okay from the edge once you solder that wire onto there that's going to allow when you connect it to the blue stack I guess it opens the bootloader or something where you can uh, update the firmware, but you have to have that wire modification. You have to, unless you have the newer board. So this video is only going to focus on, well, that's the wire. I'm not going to show you soldering it. If you don't feel comfortable soldering it, don't do it. It will void your warranty. However, I just took this blue spot out of the package, so I haven't even messed with it yet. And I was taking a chance that if I did for some reason do this wrong, then it's no good. But I haven't done anything. So what I'm going to do is follow the instructions that I saw online, show you in a form here in a video how to do it. Very simple. And um, the wire's already soldered. We're going to go ahead and plug in the blue stack to this. Show you I had the links in the description below on where to download the firmware and the loader. Should only take us about three minutes. And then we'll verify on the... Um, the, the app if the firmware was updated. And as a teaser, like I said, this blue stack is now a C4FM, DMR, and D-Star hotspot for your DV Mega that is controlled on Bluetooth with the app on your phone. No more having to use SD cards, no more having to have a Raspberry Pi. Let's get into doing this firmware first and subscribe so you can stay ahead and keep up on my videos. Okay, a simple process, uploading the firmware. So in the description of this video, right under this video, there are two links, and they will bring you to these pages. The first one is the Combitronics page here. This shows the BlueStack Micro Plus. 
uh, and conveniently has the firmware right here on the front, 3.07 beta. That's what I want. I think they have a newer firmware out, but this is what I'm going to go for for the System Fusion support. Maybe that's what they recommend. Um, so you download this firmware, unzip that somewhere where you know where it's at. Then the other link is going to bring you to the DV Mega page here, which has different models, and all you really need is the X loader here. You can pick any one of these. X loader is the program that you use to flash the hex firmware to your DV Mega. So you're going to click download the X loader. Once you've downloaded both of those, you should have them unzipped in a folder. Here's my X loader folder. Here's the firmware. Okay. Here's my run top, my uh, executable. I'm going to with the device manager open, look at your ports here. I have a couple things here, okay? I'm going to plug in the blue stack with the switch, the red switch pushed in. I'm going to plug it into USB. It goes doo doo, and there it is. It gave me COM port 13. Now, this may be different on your computer, but that's pretty much mine. So now that it's open, I got a few seconds. You got to open X loader and basically choose. Uno AT Mega 328. If that's the if you have the Blue Stack Micro Plus, I'm not sure about the other ones, but I'm going to use Uno COM port 13. Your hex file is your firmware, and click upload. On the Blue Stack, I see now two other lights that are blinking very fast, and I'll hopefully put this on video for you so you can see it. And it's uploading. It takes about 10 seconds. Then you're going to see a message here that says a number of bytes completed successfully. That means you've successfully loaded your uh, firmware onto your device. There it is. All right, uploaded. It's done. Now at this time you would un you would push the red button out, or you know, push the red button so that it's in the out position, and then you can connect to it via Bluetooth on the app. Um, let's go ahead and do that real quick and see if it shows me the firmware. It should be 3.07 now. So basically what I just did, I'll go ahead and plug this in now. All right, and then looking at the lights there, this is what you should get when you click upload. See the lights? So they're blinking and that's now uploading the firmware. When it's successful, you'll get the success screen or the success message, the lights will stop blinking. And now we're going to check it once this is done. Any second now. There it is. Now we're going to check it on the Blue DV app and see what the firmware is. I did have, I think, 2.92 or something. All right, and with the... Now... After the firmware, you want to have the red button out in the out position, which allows you to connect to Bluetooth. You'll see here on my uh, smartphone here, I have an available Bluetooth, just like pairing any other Bluetooth device, the blue stack. The password is 1234. Okay, we're paired. Now you'll go and here's the Blue DV app. All right. This is in the next video. We'll check out the Blue DV, but all I want to see is info. See if I can zoom in on that. DV Mega HR 3.07 hardware. So it was a success. I do have 3.07 now. So next up, the video of the blue spot using uh, Fusion and DMR. And also, we're going to go back now and check out the Fusion image for the Raspberry Pi. So stay subscribed, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, share, like, comment, do whatever you got to do. More on the way. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.